Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I had a subscriber request to do a coloring chat out of Kira's new book. This is Flowers Stained Glass Color by Number. I did recently do a flip through of this book. I believe it was near the end of December. We have the color palette on the back. Today I'm going to use my Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers. So I have my handy dandy little typed up chart where I have all the colors figured out. <laughs> of course. Okay, so you can figure out your color palette on here. And we jump into the first page. Now, my version of this book does not have the color palette listed out on the left side of the page. It's just listed down here and it does list just the numbers that you need for this particular page. She has since updated this book and does now have them listed over on the left side. So I will leave a link to this book down in the description below. Um, just be aware yours will be the updated copy with them on the left side. So, all right, let's pop a cardstock behind here. One that's been used many, many times, as you can see. <laughs> but hey, it still works. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and do this very first picture. The numbers in here are extremely light. So I hope I don't get my head in the way coming down to look at them. Which can be good or bad. I like it because you don't see the numbers as much when the page is... Um, completed. Some don't like it quite this light because they are a little bit harder to see and if you have a visual impairment, yeah, um, it does get harder to see without having to use a magnifying glass. So let's get started. I'm going to zoom in and let's see. We have number three listed down below. Well, maybe we'll just start up at the top. We have some 16s and 17s, which are blue. 16 is TB2, 17 is TB4. So let's get those out. Okay. TB2 is number 16. So this must be the background. How is everybody doing out there? Hope you are all well. You're all safe. Nothing has affected you or your family or friends. This book is awesome for alcohol markers, as you can see, because the lines are so nice and thick. So yeah, very easy to color in with alcohol markers and not worry about the ink spreading over the line. So another really fun color by number book. Thank you for the subscriber request because otherwise it might have been a bit before I got to this book. So. don't have a whole lot to talk about today. <laughs> Tonight, I should say, I'm actually doing this color and chat quite late for me. I usually do them early afternoon and now it is almost seven o'clock tonight. <laughs> I have just been so darn tired. Oh my gosh. I kicked back in the chair yesterday and took a nap <laughs> and I had to do it again today. I was going to come in and record my color and chat right after lunch like I normally do and I didn't get to it yesterday <laughs> and yeah, didn't get it to get it didn't get to it today right after lunch. And then I had to make supper, and the Packer game was on, so 
had to wait till that was off. And we won. We are top seed in our division, so Packers get home field advantage throughout all the playoffs. Yay! <laughs> For all my other football fans out there, I know many of you are not, so I won't go on too much for celebrating here <laughs> but us fat Packer fans are excited to say the least now whether they get to the Super Bowl hmm, it's another story we shall see a lot of other good teams out there so I guess first up, I will let you know that, yes, my surgery is back on <laughs> for this Wednesday. Heather, my daughter, decided that because she does, she has not gotten nailed down a date for her little son's surgery. Don't know if it would end up being the beginning of February, the end of February, or if it even go into March. Who knows? So she says, you might as well go ahead and have it done. So didn't have to reschedule that at least. And all my pre-surgical <laughs> appointments I won't have to redo because I think they're only good for a month. So that's good news. Don't want to have to go back through all that. And then so this morning I had to go in for that lovely COVID test. <laughs> that's always so much fun. And they moved their place where they're doing all the COVID tests now for the hospital. And so I looked at the address online. I'm like, okay. I knew about, you know, the area and stuff. But then when I looked at the instructions on how to actually get back to the building, you go here and you go there, and then you follow this, and you go here, and I'm like, holy hina. So I always get nervous when I go somewhere when I haven't been there before, and I'm not exactly sure where I'm going. <laughs> So I'm like, oh my gosh, am I going to even find this place? Because it was kind of back in the boonies with some old warehouses around. and But it was very well marked. It wasn't hard at all. So you pull up and then an overhead garage door opens. You pull your car in, you stop, there's three stations, you stop at the first station, they ask you your first name and your appointment time, and then they tell you which spot to park in, so they told me to go to spot three, go to spot three, and they just ask you your first and last name, date of birth, so yeah, pretty easy, and because it's a pre-surgical test, it's a 24-hour test, so should know by tomorrow, and it darn well better be negative. <laughs> oh, my God, that would be awful if I tested positive. <laughs> I think Heather would have a heart attack, too. She would not be happy. None of us would be happy. No, no. I can't imagine it would be positive, but one never knows, do we? Anything is possible in this day and age. Even though we are now in 2021, we're still not out of the danger zone, right? And it sounds like it's going to be quite a while before we all get immunized. Months. 
Let's see, that's 14. So Christmas is over. So no more Christmas fingernails. I decided to go to winter fingernails. So there's some cute little snowflakes on them. <laughs> They're not glitter ones, but I have some real fine glitter uh, nail polish. So gotta have glitter. So I put some glitter nail polish over the top. <laughs> you know me and my glitter. Sparkly pretty. So I'll be having that surgery on. Let's go to 17. Getting sick of this color. <laughs> um, I will have my surgery on Wednesday morning. Of course, not sure of the time yet. I have to call in Tuesday night. Or Tuesday sometime and find out the exact time right now it's scheduled for well I have to be there at 930 and surgery at 1030 so we'll see it'll probably change so we'll see what I feel like by next weekend if I'm going to be up to doing videos I would think because I'm only going to be sitting here, I should be okay. But the one thing that makes it a little bit harder for me is they can't do mine laparoscopically. I don't know if I talked about this or not. You know, laparoscopic surgeries are much easier to heal from. Um, but they have to do mine as open surgery just because of all the other surgeries I've had in that area. They typically go through the belly button for laparoscopic hernia surgery. How they pull that mesh in laparoscopically, I have no idea. But I only have a man-made belly button because <laughs> After I lost all my weight, after bariatric surgery, I had a bunch of extra skin. Well, I still got tons of extra skin, but I had the extra skin removed around my waist, all the way around. Bob said it looked like I was cut in half. <laughs> and uh, so they actually <laughs> removed my belly button. Asked me if I wanted one put back in. I'm like, yes. It looks kind of funny without a belly button. So, yeah, they gave me a, a man-made belly button. But, yeah, that means they can't laparoscopically do my hernia surgery now. Plus, there's some, you know, buildup of scar tissue and whatnot there. With you know, I had a hysterectomy a number of years ago and... All that good stuff. So, yeah. 20 is purple. PL3. So, yeah. You gotta cut me open. But I still don't think it'll be too bad. First few days, you know, are gonna be the worst, of course. But Plenty of people have gone through this procedure with no problems. So I'm not anticipating any problems. But yeah, I'll keep you updated on the community board if I am not going to be making videos next weekend. The problem with not doing them, because you know I don't do them during the week. Um, and I usually just record all my videos on the weekends and uh, schedule them then to go up during the week. And so I have a lot of books.
to do flip throughs of by the weekend and diamond paintings to unbox and whether they're things I've bought or you know many times things that were sent to me for a review to show on my channel so I don't like to wait too long to show those things my stuff could you know wait but if somebody has sent me something, I'd like to get it up on my channel as soon as I can. Ooh, isn't this pretty so far? I like those two blues together. Okay, we have some more 20s. So, New Year's has come and gone. What did everybody do for New Year's Eve? I know, you know, we weren't supposed to go out and party, but I'm sure the bars downtown here were packed, and they shouldn't have been, but you know how that goes. We did our norm. <laughs> Bob went to bed by 8. Well, actually, he stayed up a little bit later than his norm because we were watching a movie. So it was actually 9 o'clock before he went to bed. <laughs> so then I sat up. I was going to catch up on YouTube videos because I am so far behind on watching everybody's videos but I decided I wanted to watch a couple of spooky movies my favorite genre is spooky movies and I actually found a couple of really good ones so there were just a few wine coolers left over from Christmas <laughs> so I had a couple of wine coolers colored and watched a couple spooky movies it was very nice but I do always have to ring in the new year by myself <laughs> getting used to it <laughs> we used to go out and whoop it up back in the day well Bob didn't he uh he hasn't drank and I don't know how long since before we met. It's got to be 20 some years since he drank. So, yeah, he does not touch alcohol. Oh, let's get that 17 in there. Before I forget it. So, yeah, did anybody have any family and friends over? Or did you go out? Did you order food in? Okay, oh, there's another 20. I like this purple. Got to see what the other color is going to be that's in here. What is 7? Red. Ooh. 22 is magenta. So let's put in the 22s. Oh, there's another. There's another 20. So we're going to do this one first, as long as I have it out. Okay. Is that all of the 20s? Up there, anyhow. Okay, let's get out the 22. BP6. BP6. Alrighty. Bet so this is going to be pretty. Now, Kira does follow the exact same color palette as Sun Life Drawing. So if you have colors figured out, for Sun Life Drawing, like I do, 
I use my exact same sheets for Kira's books. Now, I don't know if I've had a few of you ask me, you know, if she once upon a time worked for them or, you know, why she, her books are set up exactly like theirs. I'm not sure. Kira, if you're watching this, can you let me know that? Or if you just like the way their books are set up or what. For me, it's kind of nice because I have a number of markers uh, figured out for Sun Life Drawing. So I just use those. Oops. Oh, isn't that pretty? Mm. And then we get that red in there. Oh. Twenty-two. Stained glass pictures are so easy to color because you don't have any big open spaces to try to color all at once because you know the spaces are all split up by lines stained glass mosaic books are the same way so yeah they're a lot of fun and you know me and my color by number lately about all I want to do, although I am getting a hankering, <laughs> a hankering to get out my pencils. Can you believe that? My pencils have been so ignored the entire year, well, over a year, and I think they're going to start to rebel. <laughs> so before that happens, I want to get them out. Okay, let's do number seven, which is red, DR1. Oh, my very first marker down in the corner. Ooh, I think this is going to be pretty. Ooh, I like it. What was I talking about? Yeah, I've been really scatterbrained lately. Oh, that's pretty. I like these colors together. See, that's another fun thing about color by number is Sometimes they put colors together that you would never think of. And it can give you ideas for other pictures. Especially like mandalas and patterns and designs. Like I probably would have never thought of putting these three together. But it's very pretty. So yeah, made supper tonight. Homemade. I don't know if you've ever had like hamburger helper. The Philly cheesesteak. Well, this is homemade Philly cheesesteak. Kind of like hamburger helper was really good just with you know macaroni and hamburger and you make this sauce of beef broth and cornstarch a little bit of cornstarch Worcestershire sauce ketchup what else was in there and yeah turned out turned out pretty darn good bunch of uh, provolone and then you um, sprinkle some mozzarella over the top so it's extremely cheesy and stringy and gooey. <laughs> now, depending on when you're watching this, am I making you hungry? 
<laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. But it made a huge batch. I told Bob he's going to have to maybe take some out to his family. If ever I have too much of something, then he just takes it out there and they can eat it. And they don't have to make something. Better than throwing it out, right? Okay, any sippings? Yep. Especially love these two colors together. That's really pretty. And then we have some threes in there, which is a dark brown. Hmm. That's another color I would have never thought of throwing in here. So we'll do that next and see what that looks like. Okay, yeah, let's throw in that dark brown EB6. A bark. Oh, that is so pretty. Love it. Okay. I would think, you know, because this is a bud, that that would be bright green or something. But three is dark brown. Hmm. Okay. Love my Spectrum Noir markers, too. So, of course, my ultimate favorite are my Copics. And then my Ohuhu brush markers. And then these. There's a greater, you know, number of colors in these. So I do like that. I think there's, what, 218 Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers and they do have refills and replaceable nibs and you know all of that like the Copics but I love I like the firmness of the Ohuhu brush markers better these are quite soft so to me it's a a little bit harder to color with I don't know could be just me but otherwise I do love them because they come with the brush tip on one end and then the fine tip on the other. It's not a chisel. So for you, for those of you who like your chisels, you wouldn't like these. But I love brush and fine tip. <laughs> okay, couple threes in here. So maybe this is supposed to be like shade, the shadow part. I don't know. It's what I'm going to pretend it is. <laughs> Good thing this was a dark color because I went out of the lines with the red. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have said that. See, if you were coloring and you weren't watching, you would have never known that. Okay, we have some 14s up here. Fern Green, AG5. AG, AG, there. So, we do get some green in here, too. You can see this picture goes quite fast, too. I mean, we've only been chatting here for... Has it been a half an hour already? Holy guacamole, as Anne would say. She has me saying that all the time now. <laughs> I'll say that here at, at home all the time. Holy guacamole. <laughs> and you're such a bad influence. 
This one feels kind of dry. I think I'll leave this one out so I can fill it up. If I have, I have quite a few of the refills. And I think most of the, well, a lot of the greens I think I do because they're used quite a bit. So, hopefully. <laughs> I recently found out a couple of Copics that I needed to refill. I didn't have refills for. Because I sat down um, with my entire Copic collection. And I went through every single Copic. And I have one of those little scales. I think they're called like jeweler scales, jewelry scales, that uh, weighs by grams. And you, rather than guessing how full your marker is, you can weigh it. And a full Copic with both caps on should weigh, hmm, how'd that go now? between 14 and 14 and a half grams, I think. And with both caps off, hmm, can't remember what it was though. Anyhow, so I went through and I weighed every single one, <laughs> filled up the ones that I could. A lot of them I had the refills for, but there were a few that were on the drier side that I didn't have refills for which kind of perturbs me because Copic and I think I've mentioned this before came out with new refills now the refills they used to have they no longer carry they've been discontinued the ones that look like this and these hold, well, how much was it? I can't remember now. And it doesn't say on here. Anywho, this is one I haven't used yet. Yeah, and a lot of it's in Japanese. Oh, 25 cc's. So you can get these for like five, six, seven bucks, whatever. And this refills your marker like a dozen times. So in the long run, Copic's can run you cheaper than your budget friendly it's just I know that initial cost is yeah <laughs> so yeah they discontinued those but you know they did come out with new refills at the same price so it's like oh well that's nice and they're shaped round they look like a round marker maybe a you know shorter shorter than these tau tree markers and bigger round but they're just you know round like that but even though they're the same price there's only half the amount of ink in them so essentially they doubled the price of their refills i think that's dirty i can see you know costs going up everything goes up right 12 is light green that's ag1 so you know i i can understand that but doubling the price i think that is a little ridiculous i can see i'm gonna have to go through all my spectrum noir markers too now this tip feels nice and firm hmm But yeah, they're not, they're not real juicy. So I am going to have to go through and refill the ones that I can. At least you can still get the uh, Spectrum Noir refills. <laughs> so for those of you with budget friendly markers, if you have one that, you know, dries out, just keep in mind, you can buy the Copic refills and refill your budget-friendly markers. Or, you know, if they don't have a color close enough, 
which would be surprising considering there are 358 colors in the Copic line. But, you know, there are other refills out there too that you could look at. There's the Spectral Noir refills, Blick, um, their alcohol marker line they have refills for. So, yeah, there's, there's other options. What number was I on? 12, right? Yeah. <laughs> I do the same thing when I'm diamond painting. Oh, and I, I don't even have to have gotten up and sit back down. It's like, what symbol was I doing? <laughs> so I'll have to look at the, the, uh, drill storage container that I'm working from <laughs> and that'll tell me uh, anybody else do that whether it be color by number or <laughs> diamond painting yes the struggle is real folks the struggle is real So I did have my little Levi back on Monday. And if you're new to my channel, I babysit my grandkids full time. And Levi is a year and a half now. That is unbelievable. And with all the COVID, between here and Heather, my daughter, her family, I hadn't babysat them for, wow, it was probably at least a month and a half. It was quite a while. Okay, I'm not going to do the rest of the 12s down here because I want to refill some of these markers. They're, they're getting a little dried out and I don't want to ruin the tips. Okay, so... 16 again was those were the blues let's get into here here we have some more of these colors so let's go ahead and do this okay 22 was the magenta i actually remember that aren't you proud of me oh it's the little things in life I also had Miss Madison on Wednesday then. So I had both the kids on Wednesday. She was so happy to be here. Oh my gosh. She broke my heart when uh, I hadn't had them for so long. Heather um, Facebook, um, what do you call it? Not messaged video chatted with me and then had because Maddie was crying she missed us grandma and her papa and so we chatted for quite a while when Maddie first came on she just started crying and crying I mean crocodile tears rolling down her cheeks oh my gosh she almost had me crying I felt so bad and that is Papa's little girl, I tell you. But by the time they called, it was late and he had already gone to bed. So then I said, well, Maddie, why don't you call again tomorrow? I'll tell Papa you're going to call him. Or video, you know, chat with him. So they did. So Papa and her got to video chat. Sorry, my head's in the way. I'm looking at the... <laughs> I'm looking at the numbers. Okay, so here we have the 20s, which was that pretty purple again. So, yeah, and then Christmas time. Oh, my gosh. She would not leave my side for anything. Wow. Wherever I sat, she had to be in my lap. And, of course, I had to get supper done. You know, everything out on the table. And Well, it was actually kind of an assembly line up on my countertops. People could just go by and grab what they wanted. 
but you know so she was trying to hang on me there and when it came time for them to leave oh yeah she was so sad again just a crying oh so yeah she was so excited to come on Tuesday or Wednesday I should say now this next Monday she'll have school tomorrow but Tuesday she doesn't so I will have both of them on Tuesday well actually all three because I do babysit now my oldest daughter's son Connor and but he's no problem at all he's 10 and the only reason they really don't like to leave him home, he's very self-sufficient, very grown up for his age, but he is diabetic. So just on the slim chance that something would happen, they, uh, you know, would prefer for him at this point yet to be at somebody else's house. So, okay, now we have the red, and there's a lot of sevens. Wow, a lot of red in this one. So, yeah, Monday, tomorrow, I'll have Levi and Connor. And then Tuesday, I'll have all three of them. Wednesday is surgery. Woohoo! So then I won't have any of the kids the rest of this week. And then I can't lift for a couple weeks at least. So I won't be able to have Levi for a couple weeks. But Mr. Connor will be coming because I don't have to carry him around. <laughs> I told that to Tanya. She thought that was pretty funny picturing me carrying around a 10 year old <laughs> he is kind of small for a 10 year old but still <laughs> and, and like I said he's very self-sufficient Tanya packs his lunches so that you know she knows how many carbs he has and knows how many units of insulin he would need although He's, she says he's a lot better figuring that all out now than, than her. Like I said, he's, he's very, very self-sufficient when it comes to his diabetes. He knows about how many carbs is in this, that, and the other thing. So then he knows how many units he has to have if he wants to have, say, a snack of some sort or, you know, something like that. And then he's got to wait you know, 15 minutes after the insulin before you can have it. That's got to be hard. <laughs> My gosh. I mean, the poor kid, he's seen all this Christmas candy out, right? Knowing he can't have it. But he is so good about it, you know. He's used to it by now. Because, gosh, when did they discover his diabetes? It's got to be like, oh, probably... Has it been over two years? Yeah, it must be about three years now. So he's he's adjusted to it really well. Tanya is one that she read up on everything, joined Facebook groups, and yeah, so she learned a lot in a hurry about type one diabetes. So I had all kinds of questions for her because of my low blood sugar problems. And I'm still wearing, I don't know if I had mentioned that, um, that when I went in for my surgery, not for my surgery, to meet with my surgeon to talk about the surgery, um, I almost passed out in the office because my blood sugar was so low. And so they had given me a piece of candy and 
It did help. Bunch of water, big bottle of water. Because I was shaking so hard. Oh my gosh. So he talked to me about it and ordered me the Freestyle Libra um, blood sugar monitor. Rather than pricking your finger, it's kind of like the Dexcom where you um, unwrap it, screw it together, um, you push it down and then there's a little needle kind of that comes out the middle and you just stick it onto the back side of your arm and so it goes into your skin, it pierces your skin, it doesn't hurt much. Um, and then there's an app, so if you don't want to purchase the reader for it, there's just a, a Freestyle Libra app you can download and you can check your glucose. You just hold the top of your phone next to where you have the monitor in your arm and it reads it. <laughs> it's really cool. And yeah, mine goes low an awful, awful lot. It goes into the 40s quite often. Especially like at night, it likes to go low. So I don't know what he's going to have me do. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I was talking about that because I was talking about him wanting to give me, me to give up carbs. I remember that now. It's like, yeah, it ain't going to happen. <laughs> no. Might as well ask me not to breathe. <laughs> mm, ain't going to happen. Yeah, so, like I said, we shall see what happens with that. can't remember when it's a 14-day thing. you got to wear it. It must be coming up on that. I'll have to look on my phone and see how long I've had it on. Seems like forever. But <laughs> and so many times I forget to check it throughout the day. And naturally, wouldn't you know it, since I've been wearing this thing... I haven't had one of my real low, low blood sugar spells, you know, where I get really hot and queasy and shake like crazy and dizzy because I was really kind of hoping that would happen so that I could see actually when that happens how low my blood sugar is. And I really don't want to poke my finger to do it. My daughter told me to this one time when I first got it, and it was really low. It was like low 40s, I think. And she says, well, she says, those aren't necessarily the most accurate. She says, do you still have your finger poker, as <laughs> she put it. And I said, yeah, somewhere, because I used that when my cat was diabetic before he passed away. Um, cause it worked on him too. And so I got that all out and do you know, um, I poked my finger. I couldn't get blood, hardly enough blood out of it. So then I tried different, every one that I poked turned purple around it. And this finger still hurts. How can that be from a little finger prick? My gosh. After going through all of that, yes, my blood sugar really was that low. <laughs> but yeah, that, that finger still hurts. I don't know how that can be. That was like a week, week and a half ago. <laughs> Jeez. Tanya said you can adjust the depth that the needle goes in. Well, that must only be available on, on certain finger pokers. <laughs> Lancets? Lancelets? No, what are they called? Lancets? Um, cause mine didn't have any adjustments at all, so. All right, we have 20s in here, which is also the purple. Oh my gosh, isn't that turning out pretty? Eight, 
And then I did have a suggestion by a subscriber. So I want to ask you guys about this. Um, she has said something about it would be nice to see some of my, you know, when I complete a diamond painting rather than just, you know, seeing all the unboxings and unbaggings. So my question to you guys is when I do my end of the month videos and I show you everything that I've colored, do you want me to also show any diamond paintings I've finished? Because if I've worked on any like smaller ones, say, a, you know, the 30 by 30s, I'm sure by the end of the month, I would have a couple done anyhow. Now, right now, I started working on a very large one, but I'm sure I'm going to need a break from it sometime this month. <laughs> And I'll probably break out a smaller one. I want to finish up the one that I started that my youngest daughter, Mallory, gave me for Christmas. So I'll probably get that one back out. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, if you would like to see some of my finished diamond paintings during the... So it wouldn't just be my finished coloring book pages. It would be... You know, what I colored and diamond painted during the month. I guess something like that. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I know not everybody is real interested in diamond painting. So that's why I guess I've never done that. But this is, I guess, a coloring and diamond painting channel. And that is why I do a lot of on baggings or unboxings of diamond paintings. I didn't feel like starting a second channel just for diamond painting. I know others have, but I'm just going to keep it all as one. It's hard enough to keep track of this one, <laughs> much less two. No, don't want to do that. At least not at this point. Okay, let's put in the magentas here. So yeah, if you, you know, you would like to see that, let me know. I'd be more than happy to add them in to, whoops, that was red. I want a magenta. Oh, well, we'll have a red outline there. Yeah, I would be more than happy to include those at the end of the month. And I can't see that red too bad. Wouldn't be a Lisa picture if there wasn't at least one flub. <laughs> Lisa always has to have at least one flub or it wouldn't be a Lisa picture. Okay, not always, but it has been known to happen, <laughs> put it that way. And many times it'll be during a color and chat because Lisa has a hard time coloring and talking at the same time. Especially color by number. I don't know why it is. <laughs> that color by number takes more concentration. It shouldn't. I guess because we're looking for the numbers. I don't know. I have a tendency of missing numbers anyhow. Just like diamond painting. Another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is... I just had my two-year anniversary on YouTube. Can you believe that? I can't. Wow. So as of the 1st, it was two years. Well, actually, December 31st. But I just say the 1st. <laughs> so at some point this month, I want to have 
a nice giveaway. And because this is a special one, I do want to, and because I can't include you poor international people when I am physically sending out books, I definitely want to include my international subscribers in this particular giveaway. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing at this point yet. Um, so yeah, I, I guess I'll be letting you know about that. Let's finish these uh, 17s up up here. And then I'm going to call it good. So we'll finish the blues in through here. Let's do the 16s first. And then we'll have quite a bit of it done. And you will see the completed one in my end of the month video. Or if I get my button gear and get onto Instagram. <laughs> Oh, I still haven't gotten into the habit of posting pictures on Instagram. I think a lot of it is because my mindset is, well, that's just uh, like I did all those lines pictures in Kira's Christmas book. And while I had such a good time doing it, I thought, nah, I'm not going to post these, you know. They turned out so cool. but And so I guess that's kind of my mindset. Um, but yet, they are pictures that I colored, I guess. So, yeah. <laughs> if I get into the habit, then uh, I guess I'll have more of my pictures over on Instagram for you guys. I know many of you guys go on Instagram and or Facebook. I do not go on Facebook hardly ever anymore. So, yeah. Okay, let's just, oh, we have some, four, let's do the 14s in here. I know that's green. That was at AG5. Then we'll have this whole upper part done. This wasn't, it's the light green that was more dried out, so. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to be doing the giveaway. It'll be sometime this month. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. Oh, that's blue. Lisa. Boy, oh boy, Lisa. So yeah, you'll have to stay tuned for that. It will not be broadly announced it will be hidden within a color and chat so if you are one of my watchers <laughs> of my color and chats um you should be good to go it it will be hidden in there because i do not announce giveaways anymore there are too many people out there who search for them, subscribe just for the giveaway, and once the giveaway is over, they unsubscribe. And how do I know this? Because my subscriber count would go way, way up whenever I'd have a giveaway. As soon as the giveaway was over, it would go way back down. <laughs> Dead giveaway. <laughs> Get that? <laughs> Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. So, yep, it'll be, like I said, hopefully I plan on it sometime this month. All right, let's back out. Oh, gosh, that is so pretty. It's even prettier in the camera. I can see, I don't know, it, it, you can see it more as a whole, I guess. You know what I mean? So yeah, we almost finished the whole thing. And it took us only an hour to do that. 
So it'll probably only take me, what, 15 minutes at the most to finish this. But I do got to refill <laughs> first. I don't want to color with that one anymore until I refill it. So thank you so much for joining me, for watching this video. I do appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed our little color in chat tonight. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody has had a terrific weekend. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.